thank you for joining us in another episode of Experience, Strength, and Hope. My name is Catherine, and our host, Tony, will be joining us shortly. Our goal is to bring stories that make you laugh, smile, and even cry, but most of all, give you hope. Please don't forget to support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Spotify, Anchor FM, and Apple Podcasts. Again, I'm Catherine, and I hope you enjoy today's show. Today is what the 26th, it is a Wednesday. And I always rehearse things in my mind for when I grew up. And today I was going to Manhattan, I was listening to a little bit of some music. And I thought about this one song that I listened to. My mom might not even remember this, but she... I remember some of the things she said. I remember the time that she thought I was crazy or going crazy on drugs and all this stuff because in my era in the 70s, we all of a sudden got hooked on rock and roll because everybody wanted to play the lead guitar and all that. But I got hooked on serious rock and roll to my Kiss, Queen, um, Peter Frampton, uh, 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 some, uh, all of them. I went into Led Zeppelin, none of them. Uh, if they come to man, I'll, I'll sing them. You know, but some some really serious rock and roll. And I remember um, this song came out called Frankenstein. And I used to play that stuff so loud in my room. And I remember my mother coming in there looking at me like I was crazy because I, I here I'm a black man in Chicago in the soul funk era. Cause rap really hadn't hit the end like it is now, hip hop. And I'm listening to this hard rock. My mom was like, is he on drugs? Is he crazy? What you listening to that for? And I was playing it, you know? And I remember the face my mama made of me looking like, let me go through this room and see where this boy had this weed at. Well, he had this, this uh, speed or something. Now he doing something listening to this. But I wasn't, it was just music. Good music. Good music. Besides the funk. And my mother said, man, something wrong with that boy. But it wasn't. I was just in a different era of music at that time. And I'm thankful for that because it was many times that uh, I grew up that uh, my mother thought probably something was wrong with this boy. I remember when I was younger, and I'm going to say this and I'm going to be gone because I think about what I did when I was young. When I transitioned from one school to another, I was in Carter School on 58th Street within the heart of the hood. And we ended up moving to Chatham over the summer, which Chatham at that time was the best place you can live, mainly in Chicago, except for the suburb. Chatham was beautiful. They had grass, trees, beautiful. Flowers everywhere. The houses were beautiful, road brick out. Everybody took care of the bushes. And I remember we moved to Chatham, and we, you know, people used to tease us and things like that. My sister and uh, I remember us coming home from school sometime. My sister would throw down. Say, you, we, you may think we from the hood. We'll show you from the hood. We put some of that 58th Street whooping on them or something. You know, my sister didn't play. But, and uh, I remember uh, trying to make his name for myself in school because I didn't know anyone. I was trying to fit in, you know, because uh, these kids were different from me. And I thought they were more advanced but at the time. They wasn't. And I remember, you know, so my thing about getting attention from the girls or the teachers or anybody, I used to do things all the time. Playing jokes, put tacks in people's chairs, kick the chair from under, uh, uh, clown doing the class. You know, when we first took sex education class, I knew all that. <laughs> I could have taught them. But I remember clowning in the class and I was doing so much that my mother had to take off work because they say, maybe he, something wrong with him. I think this dude got to learn this and he's a little special head. Something wrong here. We got to put him in a smaller setting or something. Cause I was acting up every day. They were calling my mother, and I remember us getting on the bus, sixth, seventh grade, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. My mother made. Remember, my mother had to take off work, get on the bus, take me to another school, and get me tested because they thought something was wrong. I spent the whole day of her taking off work, getting tested. Come to find out, that lady came out and said, ain't nothing wrong with him more or less. He just needs his little tail toe up. He needs to buckle down on him. And I remember that bus ride. Because my mother didn't have a car yet. All the way back home. My mama didn't say nothing. But I knew it was coming. Like, we about to get this out of you. And I remember telling my mom, I don't know, I just like, I'm just trying to do that. I'm trying, you know how you talk yourself out of whooping? 
No, that didn't happen. I was in there trying to be, and I think it was kind of some of her fault because she had them Richard Pryor and they had them uh, Red Fox Pig Meat albums and, and Mom's, what's it, Mom's Mabley, all them albums in the house. And I used to sneak and listen to them, so it was Mama's fault, your fault, Mildred, you know, for letting me hit them and going to school trying to crack them jokes, you know. But I buckled down. My mama said, I ain't playing that. She didn't do like y'all did today, you know. And, uh, and let it go. I'm going to buckle down on me and say, I will not have you acting a fool in this school. And that's something she did say. I come in there and sit in the classroom with you. Remember mama used to say that? I'll come up there with you. I'll pop up when you want or when you least expect it. But when nothing wrong with me. I just was trying to fit in, you know. But I'm thankful. I'm thankful for those uh, times and then for those different eras when uh, we transitioned through uh, 58th Street, which I had missed so much. All my friends tried to make a new plan, but me, uh, my sister and I made it. You know, uh, we proved that, hey, look, uh, we can do anything but fail. And my mama proved me. When my mother uh, and father separated, my mother proved that she can be strong and courageous. I, I remember her going back to school, uh, uh, going downtown with her, uh, um, to, I think it was Jones Commercial and different places there and, and classes she took. I remember when she got her first car, got a driver's license, got a car. She did things that she was held back from or uh, didn't uh, uh, reach out to do on her own because she was being a good wife. She was taking care of her husband. She was taking care of her family. That was important to her. But she, um, when it was left on her to even do more, my mama didn't um, go down to the welfare office and cry bloody murder and I need help and turn my kids over to foster care. My mother said, hey, look, we're going to fight through this thing. And she did. She proved that what you can do with a limited amount of food, money, and air, that we went on the street, we didn't get evicted, we're still in the same house. They lived in that house till I was 102. When I go back to Chicago, we're still living in the same house. Not anymore, but that's back then. But she proved of what you can do. And I give a shout out to my mother and my sister and my family and my grandparents who supported us and everyone. So if you got a kid out there that's cutting up in school, just give him that little bit of extra attention that he may need to straighten up. And if that's not helping, come see me at my job. I'm Tony the Mayor. Look for me on Spotify, Anchor, uh, um, YouTube, and leave a message, leave a shout out. Tony the Mayor, 785-238, nope, 785-307-4662. Thank you for listening to another episode of Experience, Strength, and Hope. Come back and continue to listen on any of our other platforms such as YouTube, Spotify, Anchor.fm, and Apple Podcasts. We encourage you to not only listen, but also reach out and share your stories of experience, strength, and hope at BigDog0862 at gmail.com or 785-307-4662. I'm Anthony Timms, and this has been another podcast of Experience, Strength, and Hope from Tony DeMayer Timms. Be blessed, be strong, and most of all, be real.